Biggest fight is, and it's right here. You know what I'm saying? This whole show's, this whole show's right here. You know what I'm saying? These guys are. This whole division is built off of me. You got Donald Cerrone, who I just fought, and Rafael dos Santos, who I just fought, and now I'm ranked like number 47 or some shit. <laughs> if you have one metal finger, and you're like, all of a sudden. But uh, my point being is that I was the money, money, motherfucking money fight. Where am I at? Let's see. I need to be on this card. This is me. <laughs> On the poster now. That's why. I ain't putting on a poster, but look at what I'm a muscle. <laughs> I'm an artist. I reported yesterday on UFC Tonight that this is the final fight on your contract. Can you tell us about that? Why are you going into this fight um, without signing a new deal to test the free agent market? Bro, I'm not asking for your credit card information, am I? No. Hey, no, I'm not doing that. I'm polite. I have okay. manners. I'm not, this a, is a normal, I'm not a salmon. <laughs> this is a normal part of sports. No, 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 no. You don't discuss that stuff. Really? And listen, where did you think that my mind is on something other than, than, than your questions? My mind is on the fight. Okay. I'm focused. It happened. And it came out this week that Overeem has one fight left on his contract. After this fight, he's going to be a free agent. Do you kind of want to be the guy to send him away from my the UFC, God. beat him? Because there's a lot at stake here for him, I a lot of pressure. Know. You didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah. This uh, is it. This is his final UFC fight. Yeah, I'm sad for him now, you know, because that's not, not going to be good for him. You know? <laughs> well, let's talk about this drawing right here. This is, uh, this is something. I didn't know you had these skills. I'm an artist. <laughs> that's all I got, though. It was good, but in all honesty, were you a little annoyed that you're not on this? Yeah, where the fuck's my picture at? <laughs> I remember in, in July they wanted you Hold to fight. On. Smith and Wesson. Here we go again. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Let me know when you're ready. We just multiply. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like, ain't no stopping at the red lights. All right. Okay. Final question. We've had a chance to talk for, for many years, and you've always said, I don't care about the belt. Just give me fights, fights, fights. Now that you're here two days away from your first UFC title fight, can you acknowledge that the belt means something? How badly do you want this? I, sure, I'll give you that. It does mean something. Here it means you're the best in the world. You know? So actually, I'm here. I'm going to take it, and then I'm going to turn around and fight as many times as I can with that belt. Can't wait. Nate Diaz and Michael Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Heavyweight action, ladies and gentlemen, Alistair Overeem.
good. I I be good. I I love the fight. I I know that I'm present when I enter inside the cage, and I know that this this fight was must be good for me. I did not expect to lock it. I mean, I I came here to strike. Everybody knows I'm a striker, and he's a striker as well. I, I, I mean, I wanted to go out there and strike, see who's the better striker. I think he felt my punch and he kind of shot for a takedown. I tried to defend that takedown, but it wasn't, he didn't have too much on that takedown, so I saw that I could lock the, the Anaconda and it worked. Uh, actually, I do martial arts. I do sports since five years old, uh, 20, 22 years uh, of my sporting career. Like I said, every time for me, martial arts is not only sport what I do, it's my life, it's my job, it's what I love. And uh, so every time I put everything, uh, for me, I don't have like uh, easy fights or very hard fights, I put everything for preparation to prepare, prepare for this fight like it last fight. So Nick, uh, BJ Penn had some comments about you a little while back on uh, UFC Tonight. Um, what are your thoughts on BJ's comments about coming out of retirement to specifically fight yourself? Well, number one, check out my poem because I'm, yeah, I'm a freaking lyrical genius when it comes to that <laughs> stuff. And number two, if BJ Penn ever wants some, he knows where to find me in the cage. His retired ass can just stay at home unless he wants to actually come in here. What was, your, what was your walkout song tonight? Thunder Horse. Thunder. Now, I That's infamous, you have seen 96, man. Go yeah. back and watch the tape. <laughs> <laughs> but, but they cleared it this time, they were okay with this Nobody time. gave me any beef. They asked me, they said, what's your walkout music gonna be? And I said, dude, you kidding me? <laughs> like, you guys, in, you know? And then, there's been a lot of people that changed since the, back in my day. That's the funny thing is I can say that back in my day, things were different, man. You had that one UFC a month, now there's four in a weekend, you know? So. Um, you know, there's different people, different places, faces, and uh, it's good because, um, you know, I, I like being known for what I've already accomplished, but I'm not, I'm not resting on my laurels anymore. You know, I have a lot more to offer. Uh, you, you guys saw a little bit of that tonight, and I hope to, to show more of it in the future. First of all. No, it feels great, man. Yeah, I, I'm just really excited. And, uh, you know, it's, I, I, uh, I really believed it. I know I was on a bad run there, but I was like, man, I, I really feel good in the gym, and I feel like, uh, I just feel like, uh, you know, I could go in there with anyone, honestly, and I, I think it really, you know, it, it came out in the fight today. Like, Conor McGregor, he's been said that he, he want to come to my division, and I think it's not, it will be a smart decision for him, but if he want to come, I will be help, 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 uh, happy to welcome him. If we're gonna see a fight that people want to see, it's gonna be, it's gonna be that fight with Conor McGregor, and we could do that shit tonight, whenever next week, and uh, so that's my motivation. That's why I train. That's why I come here to fight, uh, and I plan on plan on doing well when I do fight. Even though, did, Thank you. did you did you enjoy being in the cage tonight? Dude, it's fighting that shit hurts. You know what I'm saying? It's like, fuck, I enjoy getting the job done how it's, how it's supposed to be done and going home uh, with the victory. I think everybody up here could probably agree that fucking fighting is a motherfucker, man. But um, Well, you know, in my career, I've been training 22 years and, and competing 19 years. I've had many ups and downs in my career, and, um, you know, I, I, it's something that comes with a win. Never give up. Just always keep going, always keep positive, always keep creative. Assemble good people around me, and um, yeah, you're gonna do fine. And that's just something that I live by, that I hold on to. And now we're here, but um, I'm not done yet. I want to continue, continue to keep going. So I'm already gonna head back into camp in January, and um, I'm gonna be ready for what's gonna be next. I mean, uh, sometimes you just don't show up to work, so you get your ass kicked. But uh, hats off to some bitch. You did what he had to do. Uh, he got me with a knee, not the kick. The kick didn't land. The, the knees, but what started it, and then he put a great onslaught of punches on me. So uh did a great job overwhelming me and, and, and doing what he had to do to remain champ. So like I said, you sometimes you just don't show up and in our profession it's it's a bad day. Depends with Alistair, they actually tried to redo the deal and Alistair actually said to me, he said, Hey, um to be honest with you, I just want to wait until I'm done with the uh with, with this fight. Well, let me finish this fight and then we can sit down and, and, and discuss the thing. So like what he said in the press conference, mm -hmm. you know, I just focused on the fight. I didn't even think about it. So he, the minute I even brought it up to him, because um, we talked to them, we got some numbers back and forth. He's like, listen, I'm, I'm not trying to do it. I'm going to wait until I'm done. 
So you're in a bit of an awkward spot here. Uh, you manage both Frankie Edgar and Rafael Dos Santos. It seems like Conor McGregor's team wants to move up to fight Rafael Dos Santos. Frankie really wants that fight. How strange is this for you? First, um, Frank is, is, is my brother. He's my little brother. Uh, you know, uh, and I'm, honestly, I'm kind of tired of it. I feel like uh, Conor McGregor, he have his own brand. He, he, he make the decision. All my respect to, to the UFC and I love, I love these guys, Dana, I these guys, but it feel they created this monster. Now he choosing where to go, where he fight, where he come from, but he have a chance to fight against Frankie Edgar back when uh, Aldo got hurt. He choose, he, he choose Chad Mendes because he know Chad Mendes was injured. Uh, you know, now he have a chance to fight Frankie again. He's running for Frankie. If anybody de deserve, uh, you know what, honestly, actually, Conor McGregor should be eager to fight a legend like Frankie Edgar. But what's going to happen in this fight? Frankie do, when you fight Frankie, something happened to a lot of guys. With all my respect to BJ Payne, Cop Swanson, uh, Gray Manor, Frankie ruined you. When you fight Frankie, you're never going to look the same. And he, when Fr Conor McGregor finally choose to fight Frankie Edgar, he will not look the same. He might, everybody is not going to probably remember who he is after this fight. Uh, you know, he, he's a good fighter. It's the difference between a good fighter and a great fighter. Frankie Edgar is a great fighter. Rafael Dusan is a great fighter. Fabrizio Verdum is a great fighter. John Jones is a great fighter. I think Conor McGregor is just a good fighter. UFC match him well, great matchmaking. Uh, I think he beat Aldo. I think he's a lucky punch. He rushed in. He got into his head. He caught him. And at the end of the day, like, if, they, if, if he's like crazy enough to go to 155, it's a suicide. You know, I don't like to talk bad about anybody that I'm not going to be fighting, but you know, some of these guys are like, okay, bro, I'm like, you're from the hood or the ghetto, or you know, you come from, I'm like, you know, you got your, you got your whole get up. I'm like, where'd you, you know, stylistically? I'm like, come on, dude, I'm, I'm, I wasn't born yesterday. I'm like, you did not come from some kind of shit background. You came from, you came from some money. You know what I mean? You came from a, a background of winners, and that's great for you. Um, but you know, when you're coming up out, out of, uh, you know, you're coming up out of nothing, it's it's there's a lot to it you know and you got to make ends meet and um and that's what you're seeing is somebody who's done that you know I, I like to think like when it comes to me or it comes to my brother and and um yeah that's what like, you know when it happens it's a, it's a, it's a show you get the show well. okay last thing i saw you talking to joe silva afterwards how confident are you that you're going to get the conor mcgregor fight what did he say to you oh he said it's on he said we're going to do this they wanted to hell yeah they want it everybody wants that fight that's what they want Everybody wants that fight. What is that? What are they gonna do? They just said to fight Dos Anjos too. You didn't hear a word out of him. He don't want that fight either. It's like if people want to see a real fight, they know who to call. You know. What's the key to beating him, in your opinion? <laughs> Training hard and ninja. His ass up. Everybody. Everybody. That's the key to beating everybody. Well, great Martial to see artists, you. Ninja, real shit. Not no funny fake. Let's fight. This will be good for the sport. Fuck that. Fuck the sport. This is fight shit. This is ninja shit. That's what, I, that's what people want to see. That's what I want to see when I watch. So let's see some real shit. You hear me. Let's get it. And by the way, when do you want to come back? Tonight. Tonight. Okay. Fuck. Well, it's great to see you, man. Congratulations again on the victory. And happy holidays to you. Enjoy it. Thank you. Thank All you right. very much. All right. All right. Thank you.